five fit fellows are going to show us how to vault. And incidentally, they're going to show us how every movement in gymnastics can be an example of grace and rhythm if properly executed. For the time being, first watch these five specimens of youth loosening up the muscles. Now from another angle, here goes the astride vault over the buck. That's a textbook name, but actually it is nothing more complicated than our old friend Leapfrog. See it in slow motion. Stand up straight, lean forward like a ladder, begin to fall, then run. Incidentally, all this vaulting is not just an amusement. It's very good for you. It makes you more active and gives you more control during the strenuous moments of everyday life. For instance, if you must jump on a bus, this sort of thing will help you to do it properly. Jump, fly through the air, drop to earth, and stand up straight at the finish of the movement. Now watch them make mistakes. If you don't go high enough, you may strain wrists and fingers. If you jump too far, you may fall. So if you're between the devil and the deep sea, get someone to help you. The helper grasps your arm above and below the elbow. and eases you down to a perfect landing. If it gives you more confidence, have two helpers, one on each side. And incidentally, this business of helping is quite an art in itself. They don't stand there like a couple of sentries. They move in sympathy with the one who is vaulting. Now let's have five good jumps, one from each. And one more for luck over a box, starting off quick and going into slow motion to give you every phase of perfect movement. Now, as before, with two helpers. Now in slow motion. Jump, fly, up, and watch how the feet of the helpers sidestep in unison. Once again now, a gleaming cascade of physical well-being. Now a different movement. It's called a back vault, because your back is toward the apparatus. You do the same thing when you're vaulting over a gate during a ramble in the country, only you probably don't do it quite so nicely. One hand on, jump off with one foot, and the picture shows the rest much better than words can describe it. Here it is again with a helper. Notice again how the foot movement of the helper brings him up with the other in perfect duet. A simple exercise, but very fascinating if you watch points. All right now, turn on the speed. Let's try it with three benches instead of a horse. Now, if you've been landing with a heavy plonk on your country gate, you'll bring the whole thing crashing over in spite of the man holding on at each end. Here's the helper in action again. He must move as he helps, otherwise he'll do more harm than good. And the helper has a firm grip, but a light one. It isn't the idea to break the victim's arm. We might call this one the play pen. It's a front vault over sloping benches. Take off with both feet and above all, keep your tail up. Watch the helper's hand, once again above and below the elbow. Even the best vaulters can make use of a helper, especially for this one where you nearly stand on your head. Next time you take a walk in the country, ask your fiancée if she can vault a gate. Even in moving the box, there's a right way and a wrong way. 
The right way is to move it quickly and quietly, and above all, put it down where it's wanted. Now, a front bolt over the box. In slow motion, take particular note of the position of the hands, getting a good grip. If they slip now, it's bad for the face. box for beginners. But even over this one, you can hurt yourself if you do it badly. That's why the helper is there. Now one a little bit higher for those who are a little bit better. He's a long, long time coming up. Ah, but he's doing something else, using his hands like feet, not grasping the box at all. Let's have a few of those in quick time. I think you'll appreciate the smoothness of the movement. Now over the box lengthways. This is very advanced gymnastics. You can't expect to do this at once. Try first of all standing on your hands on the floor. This is how you should try that handstand. Get into a sort of sprint start position, take off on one foot and up you go. You hope. Stand up straight after you've done it. If there is no friend handy to help you, you might try it against the wall. We'll show you the correct way in slow motion. Incidentally, this boy is doing it very nicely. And if you look as good as he does, you'll feel very pleased with yourself. As there will be no camera filming you, there's no reason why you shouldn't imagine that you look as good as this, even if you do stick out in the wrong places. Now a double takeoff, both feet at once, with two helpers. Notice their grip under the shoulders and on the legs. Now try it by yourself, and if you go over too far, save yourself by falling on your head, not on your front teeth. Slow motion, a double takeoff, hands stand against the wall, just like a very graceful dive into the water. Beautifully done. And at the end, stand up straight. Now on the floor, without a wall but with a mat, go right over. The takeoff is on one foot. Now against the wall again, but taking off with both feet. Now across the low box. And now, the grand finale, five fly springs done in perfect style to make a grandstand finish.